All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of GMS, better known as Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect that be like the speckled bird. Okay, scattered across the four corners of the earth. And uh, what you see here on the screen is a TikTok video. And at the top, you see it. All right. I'm not going to say it, you know, due to YouTube's algorithm, but you see it, man. OK. And this is by Amazon One. All right. Amazon One. <laughs> and, you know, the apostles starting with Apostle Tahar, Aramla, Apostle Aramla, Apostle uh, Rakar and Apostle Gabar, when they came on YouTube back in 2007, have been pushing, you know, the truth, telling you what's to come, backing up the prophecy stated in Revelation the 13th chapter, okay, going into the MOTB, all right, and you see that it says pay with just a palm, okay, what could they mean by that, all right, it doesn't seem so far-fetched now, is it, Bishop Nate, yeah, all you other Israelites that was, you know, downing, downing the apostles and elders, okay, all you two-thirds of our people that was laughing, mocking, and scoffing, talking about that this will not come in our time guess what is here right now it's here and the prophecies are speaking so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this video play we want to get a couple of scriptures or so and then close out this is crazy apparently with amazon one you can now pay with the palm of your hand i never seen anything like that so i decided to look into what it is in a nutshell you take your very unique hand you place it over this little scanner that reads it and that's how you can pay for your items you might think it's cool but it's super trippy to me if you've ever read the bible then you know what i'm talking about y'all the last days are among us you better get right with jesus And, you know, <clears throat> judge through the spirit. OK, definitely could be an Edomite, could be a Jake. Not not really sure. All right. But uh, I was chopping it up with the brother with the brethren. And uh, based off when I came across this video, I said, you know, damn. OK, even the heathens. OK, understand prophecy more so than our own people, man. You know, and that's why the scripture says, um. So lock in and close some of this stuff right here. Let's grab uh, Hosea. We and this scripture has been coming out more and more. <laughs> All right, Hosea chapter four verse six. It says, "My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou should shalt be no priest to me, saying, Thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children." Let's see. Let's get uh, also. Jeremiah chapter four. Right. <laughs> yeah, got to bring it out. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are satish children. OK, they're fools. And they have no none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good. They have no knowledge, man. And the heathens, they got <laughs> they start to come out with more information that lines up with biblical prophecy, okay? And y'all see it up there, man. So let's go over, all right? Let's bring it out. Let's go over to Revelation, all right? For all you naysayers, right? Because this, this is the time that we're in, okay? Revelation 13, and starting at verse uh, 16, it says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. It doesn't matter what your status is on the planet Earth. OK, to receive a you see that word there. OK, in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. OK, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. and His number is six hundred three score six. Now, when you look that up. Which let's go in a blue letter and look up. Uh, when you go 
and look up that word, uh, that phrase 666 is actually uh, key, key size stigma. OK, now when you take it a step further, if we go into our etymology, and go into the word stigma. OK. It says 1590s, uh, 1400th century, a mark made on skin. OK, and it has here by burning with a hot iron from Latin stigma or stigmata from Greek stigma, mark of a pointed instrument, a puncture tattoo mark brand okay so you're going to have the brand okay of the beast okay which esau edom okay is running that beast system okay and that beast system represents the eu and the nato because they're all in together to usher out the uh global reset the new world order so there's going to be a particular point and instrument okay that's going to give you a device all right within going back to 16 within your right hand or within your forehead that is not going to if you don't have this device that's going to puncture through your skin you're not going to be able to buy or sell you're not going to be able to do any transaction within the system now i have checked this out because i've done a video on this <laughs> right I watch this all right guys so i felt it in the holy spirit i felt it in the holy spirit to do this video i'm here at walgreens so they look like normal shelves but they're not sh normal shelves every single one of them has infrared scanning sensors right here for your forehead right the mark of the beast on your right hand or your forehead speak to it it sees you seek to wave they're made out of super thick metal if you don't have the mark Later on, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you scan your hand on this. Then it's going to open for you. See that? Then it's going to let you get whatever you need. I told but without the mark of the beast, you won't be able to use these in the future. These lock. Right now, they're not locked, but they do lock. And they're made out of super thick metal with glass. You can't even break through them to get food. So again, recap Revelation 13. You see that, man? So... <laughs> we told y'all man we told y'all this is all right you see it here firsthand all right let's read it again revelations 13 to 16 and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a you know what in the right hand and in their forehands and that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the you know what or the name of the beast or the number of his name man it's plain as day this is why it tells you in habakkuk Okay, let's grab that real quick. The second chapter, it says what? Verse two, and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it, a, make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry right for it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay, and this was prophesied when John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos, when he saw the vision, OK, he saw what was to come pertaining to this B system, setting up this uh, digital currency and this mark. OK, he saw people taking that that uh, CHIP. OK, and he also saw the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, man. All right. So that's all I wanted to, you know, say and bring out. All right. We don't really need to go too much. You see it right then and there. All right. We are at the end, man. It is here. OK. And they once they uh, that's the two major prophecies that's left the the C H I P to be passed and make mandatory globally, all right. And then the end, which is the World War Three, all right. And then Big Brother Yahweh Shai, along with the heavenly host, the angels, they're gonna crack the sky and bring down this wicked rulership that we're currently in. So Yahweh Rock Desire, Lord willing, this video was edifying. On to the next time, Shalom.